guys what's up welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is emma for those of you who are new and i would love it if you guys subscribed and stuck around today's video as you can tell by the title we are going fall book shopping and i am so excited i don't remember the last time i filmed a book shopping vlog but fall is my favorite season and i love reading during the fall time there's just something so cozy about picking up a good book in like the fall and winter seasons but we are going to be going fall book shopping at a barns that we don't typically go to it's in downtown kc i think that's the one we're gonna end up going to but we shall see where this vlog takes us but i have a few books on my radar right now like newer releases i'm trying to not buy as many books and i feel like i've been pretty good about that there are a couple like newer releases that i want to pick up but then the rest of my fall tbr which i'm going to post a whole separate video on that is just going to be books that i already have on my physical TBR because I'm so overwhelmed by the on books that I own and I just really need to read them. So there's a couple books on my radar right now. So I have Phantasma, which has been going viral on TikTok. It's like a dark romanticy and it kind of is like Caraval meets Kingdom of the Wicked, I believe. I really want to get that one before it like sells out at Barnes because it's just been so popular. There's also a couple sports romances I think that I want to get. I forget the name of one of them, but then the other one is Daydream by Hannah Grace, which is the third in the Maple Hill series. So I'm excited to read that one. There's just something about sports romances, but more specifically like college sports romances during the fall time that I really love. What was the other one? Oh yes, Elsie Silver's newest release. It's the second in the Rose Hill series by Elsie Silver and it's the one with the orange cover and is really cute. I think it's called Wild Eyes and I really enjoyed the first one. So that's kind of all I have on my list right now. We're just gonna try and keep it limited because like I said, I'm trying trying to shrink my physical TBR and I have a lot of books that I'm looking forward to that I already currently own like a lot of fantasy and a lot of romance so we're gonna go grab lunch first and then probably go get Dutch Bros because Dutch Bros fall drinks are out but I'm gonna be filming my fall TBR like I said in a separate video and yeah let's just go eat I'm really hungry <laughs> let's go Okay guys, we just ate lunch. It was delicious. And now we are trying Dutch Bros. Sid had a free drink, so he let me use it on a fall drink from Dutch Bros. We got the caramel pumpkin brulee ice. I've never tried any of the fall drinks from Dutch Bros. I only ever get a golden eagle whenever we come here. So this is a taste test. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It looks pretty good, so. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Their soft top isn't sweet like like Starbucks cold foam. It's just like really frothy. I can't taste the pumpkin. I don't taste any pumpkin. It just tastes like the Golden Eagle. I wanted it to be pumpkin-y, like really pumpkin-y. Very good. I don't taste any pumpkin either. Yeah. We're gonna go to Barnes and then I will show you the books that I get when we get home.
Okay, it's really loud in here, but we are finally at Barnes & Noble. We are going to uh, probably go upstairs. This one is three stories, so I think YA, romance, and fantasy is all upstairs. So let's go. We're going to go see if they have any of the books that I want. Let's go. So this is like supposed to be kind of like Hogwarts, but it's like Mafia University. So obviously it's not like wizards and witches, but like mob bosses. <laughs> Don't love the sprayed edges on this one, but I really do want to read this too. Actually on the first one, I ordered this from Blackwells in the UK in the paperback. You also, I don't think I have to read these in order, but all of these covers are so full and so cute. This one sounds really interesting because I think it's like a romance but when they're on vacation. Okay, Friday Night Lights cover. <laughs> what is that? I really want this book. But this is thick but floppy, which is good. Why is floppy good? It's good you want a floppy paperback. Oh, because of the paperback. Yeah. So Lauren Asher is currently re-releasing her Dirty Air series. I have the first one in the new cover, but I also thrifted the first three in the OG indie covers, and those are like my prized possessions right now. I'm waiting for the last one to come out too, so. Okay, we need to find Daydream by Anna Grace. I haven't seen that one yet. Where's G? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Am I being punked? Maybe it's, maybe it's on a table. Where are we going right now? We are going to go to the young adult section because as many of you know who have been here for a long time, I used to shit on YA books, but I found a lot of my favorite books up in YA, so let's go. Okay, so I'm not going to show you everything that I have in my hand so far, although you guys can probably already guess, but so far we've been successful in finding all the books that we want. So we're just gonna keep looking in the young adult section and then we'll probably just go check out because like I said, we're trying to keep this limited today. Also guys, you should get married or bring your boyfriend or your husband because then they can carry your books for you. I'm not buying this book today, but this is on my list to get. It's a special edition of Binding 13. Have I read it yet? No, but it is on my fall TBR, so. Same.
Okay guys, we are back from Barnes & Noble. It's almost five o'clock now, so I apologize for the lighting. It's kind of like gloomy and sunny today. Like the weather can't make up its mind. We are back from Barnes & Noble and that was seriously so much fun. We have not gone to that Barnes & Noble since before we moved to the Kansas City area. So it was so fun to be back there because Sid and I always used to go there when we were like dating and before we got married. So I don't really film that much in public, honestly. Like sometimes I'll prop up my phone and get like B-roll footage out and about, but I've never really filmed like that before, but I thought it was so fun. Even though some people were giving us weird looks, but it was fine because I don't normally shop at that Barnes and I didn't know anyone who was there, so it wasn't a big deal. But let me know if you guys want more book shopping vlogs because that was seriously so fun. But as you can see, we were pretty successful in our Barnes trip, so I'm going to show you guys all the books that I got. Like I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to go too overboard just because I do have a lot of books on my physical TBR already that I really want to read during the fall season, and I didn't want to overwhelm myself too much. But but these books I've been eyeing for a while. Some of them are new releases, some aren't, and yeah. So I am gonna be filming a separate video for that. So just my fall TBR and all the books that I wanna read this season. I also might throw in a little segment in that video of books that I've already read and that I wanna recommend to you guys. So a little fall book recommendation segment. So the first book I picked up, I'm so excited about. They only had one more copy left. So I got Phantasma by Kaylee Smith. I've heard nothing but good things about this on TikTok and this one just came out a couple weeks ago. I'm very excited to read it. It says the only thing deadlier than losing the game is losing your heart. So I think this book is about Ophelia and she has a sister and their mother passes away and I guess they inherit her magic but also her debt. So in order to pay off their debt, her sister enters a like contest or something called Phantasma. Ophelia enters as well to uh, save her sister, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of giving Caraval, which I've heard some people mention that it's kind of like Caraval meets Kingdom of... The Wicked, I think is the title. I don't really know, but I've read Carnival, but I haven't read the other one. She enters the competition to kind of save her sister. And uh, let's see, Phantasma is a cursed manor full of twisting corridors and lavish ballrooms, staffed by enticing demons and fatal temptations. And Ophelia must conquer all nine floors to succeed. When a charming, arrogant stranger claims he can help, Ophelia knows better than to trust him. But with her sister's life on the line, Ophelia can't afford to turn him away. She'll just need to ignore the overwhelming dark attraction drawing them closer and closer together because in Phantasma, the only thing deadlier than losing the game is losing your heart. So it does kind of sound like Carnival with that description, just because there are two sisters, they enter Carnival, main character meets this guy, danger, all this sort of thing. So excited to read this one. It's labeled as like a dark romanticy. There are some like trigger warnings in the front. So I'll have to look up all of those but i am excited to read this one and apparently some people say that this guy is like based off of danny phantom but i don't know if that's true so very excited to read this one and i feel like this one is going to be perfect for fall next up i have a couple sports romances so i mentioned that i wanted daydream by hannah grace this is the third in the maple hill series i've mentioned before i really did enjoy icebreaker not my favorite book in the world but just a cheesy smutty romance loved it the second one wildfire i did did not love like at all i think i rated that one like a two stars i just didn't love the couple i also didn't love that it took place at a summer camp because when i read a college sports romance like i want them to be on campus i want them to be playing the sports all of that sort of thing so i have been looking forward to this one for a while i also love the cover this is also henry's book which henry was an amazing character and you got to see kind of snippets of him during icebreaker so this is about henry and hallie and i guess henry who was on the hockey team enters like this class with a difficult professor and he doesn't want to fail so he gets help like academically from Hallie and I guess she is also at their school but she's also working to write a romance novel or a novel or something and so they kind of like work together. I don't really know the premise. It just says they just need to stick to their rule book where item four reads don't fall in love. So I don't know. I just love Hannah Grace's writing. It's just very cheesy and fun so hopefully this one is good. Yeah I'm just excited. I love sports romances. Speaking of sports romances I got Fall With Me by Becca Mack. I have the first book in the series on my bookshelf. I ordered it from Blackwell's UK. So it has like the same cover as like the newer ones that were just released in the US, but it's a little bit smaller. So I believe this one is the fourth one in the series. 
maybe it's the second one i don't really know but i don't know if you have to read them all in order i think they might just be interconnected standalone there's a girl who's supposed to be on her honeymoon it said she's alone and single vacationing next to a surly tattooed man who ran his date off the resort Lennon's plan to start over in a new city is going great until she starts her new job the job the vancouver vikings new photographer and the defenseman scowling at her from across the room the one night stand she wasn't supposed to see again good thing neither of them are looking for anything serious right okay so it just starts off where they meet on vacation and then she goes and she finds out that she's working for his team. I'm just excited to read another sports romance and I feel like hockey romances are my favorite. Excited to read this one. I'll have to look up and see if you have to read them in order. I assume not because I have the first and I think the last one but I can always just go back and get the other two if I need to read those ones first. So also this coffee. I know that I mentioned that it didn't taste like pumpkin but it's like a little like subtle hint of pumpkin which I started to taste. It was like on the bottom and I really really like it. I ordered decaf though and I don't know if they gave me decaf because I'm like, I'm hyped up. I have so much energy right now. So if I'm talking really fast, I apologize, but I only drink decaf coffee. Okay, two more books, you guys. Oh my God, <laughs> I just forgot. This was supposed to be six books. I picked up Wild Eyes by Elsie Silver and that was the book that I was most excited about other than Phantasma, but I didn't get it. Like I literally have a clip of me picking it up, but I didn't buy it. So I forgot to get Wild Eyes, but I'll just pick that one up another time because I really want to read that one in a reading vlog. And I've been literally looking forward to that book. Like it's been one of my most anticipated releases because I love Elsie Silver. I got Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. And she just released like a new cover of this, which is kind of exciting. But I think this is literally just about a girl who's like fascinated with murder or something. And she literally like stalks Jack the Ripper but I think she ends up like falling in love with the guy who was Jack the Ripper, so. Okay, next up I got Kingmakers Year One by Sophie Lark. This is a series called Kingmakers by Sophie Lark and this is the first one, so year one. And I think all of them are just like year two, year three, whatever. This is basically about like mafia families. So Kingmakers is a mafia university. So the children of elite, dangerous mafia people go to this school to learn how to be in the mafia, I guess, and like the dark art of influence and intimidation. I just think that sounds so interesting. It's like Hogwarts, but instead of witches and wizards, it's literally like mob people and mafia people so okay you guys so that is all the books that i got i'm really sad that i forgot to pick up wild eyes i can't believe that i did that i literally think at one point i had it in my hand but i put it back on the table or Maybe I accidentally left it behind when I was so excited filming book shopping content, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited to finally be in the fall season, even though it is still like 85 degrees outside, but fall is my favorite season and it leads into winter, which I also really love, but I'm just so excited for some cozy fall days. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.